On a Blue Ridge morning, ripe with the promise of plenty. You ready to go, sweetie pies? Joel Salatin sets out to fulfill his self-described role as the premier lunatic farmer of Augusta County, Virginia. That's it. Come on, gal. What? What? Come on. It begins with on, beef. Salatin treats his cows as if they were nomadic wildebeests of the Serengeti. Every day, within only 100 acres of pasture, they move to a new grazing area. That gives them a completely fresh salad bar every single day. And of course, they go into some nice, fresh vegetative forage instead of old, stale stuff. In fact, Salatin calls his cattle salad bar beef. How are these cattle different from any other cattle you'd see on any farm? They're free of drugs, drug-free, drug-free cows. It's a drug-free zone. Cows here have a diet of grass only. Puts them on an incredibly high nutritional plane. I mean, it's good enough to eat. In a pasture recently used by the cattle sits a chicken coop on wheels called an eggmobile. The eggmobiles are, are hooked together and the birds follow the cows and the birds scratch through the cow patties, eat out the fly larvae, incorporate the cow patty into the ground. There's even a byproduct of this pasture sanitation system. Salatin's Polyface Farm produces $20,000 worth of eggs every year, eggs that have become almost legendary in area restaurants. Much richer, they hold together better, the yolk is, is uh, yellower, which is more nutrition. Then there are the pigs, allowed to roam small areas and frequently rotated to fresh fields. One of the features of this type of agriculture is that it at least seems that the animals are somehow more than units of production. Or as the farmer here puts it, even the pigs are allowed to express their pigness. What we do is we ask, actually ask the animal, what makes you happy? And certainly that's a deviation from conventional agriculture. Conventional agriculture doesn't care uh, what makes a plant or an animal happy. Uh, all that it's looking for is high production. Like everything else on this farm, the broiler chickens, known as pasture poultry, are in daily rotation. These birds are real lazy. They don't move themselves like the uh, egg layers, so we have to move them to fresh pasture uh, a little more physically and uh, so that they get that fresh pasture every single day. We call what we do relationship marketing. We're not just selling chicken. We're selling a relationship, an opportunity to know a farmer, to have accountability built into our transaction. Salatin says another advantage of farming this way is that it's cleaner than conventional farming. The price tag is more, but if you look at the whole ball of wax, uh, nobody, nobody has to clean in, come in and mop up after us or hold their nose after us. Here, every field provides a movable feast. Well, we call it the Yugo. Besides fresh forage, the moving corral cuts the need for fencing. Those are the main benefits, and it's also very pred predator-proof um, from coyotes, foxes, that type of thing, which is obviously a big deal here and in other places. Critics say small operations like this are no way to feed the world. But Salatin believes farmers have little to lose in trying something new. The average uh, conventional farm, there's no money in it. It stinks. We average two to four times the production per acre of other farms in this county. At a time when many farms harvest mainly red ink, this family farm is likely to stay in the family. They're with the land every single day. Uh, you're trying to work with nature, not against it. Joel Salatin measures the wealth of his farm by the health of his fields. And in that currency, he counts himself the richest lunatic farmer in the county.